Hello everybody, this is Dan Miller from Bluegrass Unlimited Magazine and today we're going to do part two of our series on learning to play music by ear for all stringed instruments. It's uh, material coming out of a book that I wrote by the same title uh, a number of years ago that's available on flatpick.com. Last time we talked about how to choose a song, how to find a key, and then how to find the chords. And I told you start with a simple song, find the key because that's going to give you information about the chords, find the chords because that's going to give you information about finding the melody, as will the key. Today we're going to take the song we worked with last time, which is When the Saints Go Marching In, and we're going to try to find the melody, okay? Another reason why I uh, recommend starting with simple songs is your melody is going to be fairly simple. It's not going to use a lot of notes. It's going to stay in the um, scale of the key that you're working with that you discovered um, last time. It's going to have fairly simple chords and it's going to have a fairly simple rhythmic structure, which means if you're counting a measure in 4-4 four, four time as 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, most of the melody notes, if not all the melody notes, are going to fall on those downbeats. And so finding the timing of these notes is going to be a little bit easier with the simple songs. Um, last fall I did a podcast interview with Ned Lubarecki and we were talking about this idea of finding the melody and he said some of his students have a hard time uh, even once they find the melody, finding exactly where those notes are going to lay. Sometimes they move them forward in time, sometimes they delay them in time. So with a simple song, you're going to get a pretty solid uh, feel for where those melody notes lie uh, under the chords that you've already discovered. And so we're going to talk a little bit of, about two of the devices that I like to use with my students when they're finding melodies by ear res um, regarding pitch, whether the pitch is the same, whether the pitch is higher, whether the pitch is lower, and regarding the timing of where those melody notes are going to land in accordance with the measures and your chord changes and all those kind of things. So the last time we discovered that we were doing When the Saints Go Marching In in the key of D, and we figured out our chords, all our chords were 1, 4, 5 chords in the key of D, which means either D, G or A chords, and we found those chords, that's going to give us some good information about how to begin to find the melody. We also discovered that there were three pickup notes before the downbeat of the first measure, that first D chord. We found that the first chord of this song is a D chord. And so, as I told you before, when you start a measure, almost every single time, the first beat of that measure is going to be a note, a melody note, that is in the chord that you're playing. And now we know that this song, on the first beat of the first measure, you play a D chord. And so we're going to know that that note that we want to find right there is going to be one of the notes in the D chord, which means either the first, third, or fifth scale degree of the D scale, which means either a D note, F sharp note or an A note. If we count it up, we have D, E, F sharp, G, A. So the 1, 3, 5 is the D, F sharp, and A. Those are the three notes that comprise a D chord. So we know when we hit that boom first uh, chord in the song, which is a D chord and the first measure, first beat, it's going to be one of those three notes. So wow, we've really pare down the number of choices that we have. And so all we have to do is sing the song. I'm going to uh, not start with the pickup notes. I'm going to start with that first measure. And once we find that, because again, we only have uh, three choices to choose some. So we got a 33 and a third percent chance that we're going to get it right um, the first time. And if we don't, it's easy to find basically off the other two. So I'm going to go with Oh, when the saints, that word saints, when you come in with your D chord, I'm going to try to find that note first, because I know it's one of those three notes in a D chord. I'm going to go with my D string here, right? Could be D, could be F sharp, or it could be A. 
And no matter what instrument you're playing in the bluegrass world, a guitar has an open D string, mandolin has an open D string, fiddle has an open D string, dobro has open D strings, banjo has open D strings. So start with that open D string, go up, F sharp, and then A. Those, one of those three notes is going to, what we're going to use to start the song on that word in. Oh, on that word saints. Oh, when the saints. So I'm just going to sound it out. Oh, we'll start on a D. Oh, when the saints. That's not it. It doesn't sound right. I'll go with the F sharp. Oh, when the saints. That's not it. I only have one more choice. Go to the A. Oh, when the saints. Saints. That's it. So now I know that that first note, the first measure, first beat is an A note. So now I'm going to back up and find those pickup notes. Now you want to sort of discern where those notes are relative to the note you just found. I'm going to start singing them and use a device where I just kind of take my hand and go here, which is the same, higher, or lower. So if I start with oh when, that sounds higher, oh when, the that sounds higher, the saints, that sounds higher. So I'm going, oh, when the saints. If you have a hard time discerning uh, between two notes, whether they're the same note, one's high, the second one is lower than the first, or the second one's higher than the first, again, there are websites and phone apps that you can use that will quiz you on these kind of things, and uh, you can gain that skill over time. Don't be frustrated if you can't do it right away. I recommend this idea of putting your hand here at the first one and when you sing the second one, put it higher or lower depending on where you uh, feel like it is. So again, oh when the saints, I can feel that is climbing up. Now I know that um, I'm in my D scale and the word saints is on an A if I count up again, I got D, E, F sharp, G, A. So I, I get a feel that I'm just walking up the scale. So on that first word, O, oh, I'm going to try to start on that D note just to see if that's right. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Oh. So the first note of the pickup notes is a D. Oh, when the, and it just walks up. So I'm just going to walk up the scale. Oh, when. Mm. So the second note of the D scale is an E, and that doesn't sound like it fits. So I'm going to go up one more note. Oh, when. That's right. That's an F sharp note. So I go D, F sharp. Oh, when. Keep going up the scale. The saints. So I found it. And because I knew it sounded like it stepped up, and because I knew my target note was the fifth note of the scale, an A, and I had O, oh, when, the, saint, that's a fourth note, I knew it's probably just going to walk up the scale, skipping a note in there, which it did, which was the E note. So I go D, F sharp, G, A. So I found the notes that lead up to that A note, which is at the top of the measure. Now I want to see when in time that next note comes in. So I'm going to slap my knee or clap my hands for the timing of this thing. Oh, when the saints, two, three, four, one, go marching in. So th there's a big gap between that word saints and the next word. It's... Um, a whole measure. The, the word saints is on the first beat of the first measure, and the next word doesn't come into the second beat of the next measure. Listen to that again. Oh, when the saints, two, three, four, one, go marching in. Okay, so that's important to know is how much time you need to let lapse. So counting that in that way gives you a a good idea of exactly when those notes are going to be coming, not just what notes they are. So let's figure out that next phrase. So we got, oh, when the saints go marching in. Now, 
remember the rule, that word in, listen to where it falls. Oh, when the saints, two, three, four, one, go marching in. So that falls on a downbeat. So we know from our last time that that's still a D chord. We don't, we've not changed off the D chord yet. So that word is going to be one of the notes of the D chord. Oh, when the saints, two, three, four, one, go marching in. Go marching in. That sounds like it climbs up that ladder again. And so um, let's find that word. Let's find the note of that uh, word. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Find that in. We know it's in the D chord, so we're going to find a D note in. That's not it. Go to the F sharp note. In. That's not it either. In. There it is. In. It's an A note again. Hey. I'm landing on the A note again, and it sounds like I'm walking up that ladder. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Saints and in are the same note, and both of those phrases sounds like it walks up a ladder. I'm going to guess because, again, in simple songs you have a lot of rep repetitive phrases. I'm going to guess that it's the same ladder that it's climbing up. Okay, because it feels like I'm just stepping up the same ladder, I'm going to check that. Oh, when the saints go marching in. And there you go. Two phrases, the first two phrases of the song are just repeat melodically. The same melody notes are form the first two phrases. And that's not uncommon in simple songs, okay? So let's move on. We got, oh, when the saints, two, three, four, one, go marching in, two, three, four, one. Oh, when the saints, so that second time we say saints in there is again on the downbeat of, the first downbeat of a measure. So we know since we haven't changed chords yet, it's going to be in the D chord. So let's find out what that is. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints, is it a D note? Saints. No. Saints. No. Saints, there it is. So again, it's an A note. Sounds like it's moving up the scale. So, sounds like to me we got the same phrase repeated again. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints. So we got three times in a row for this song the exact same melodic phrase. Let's move on from there. We'll do our tapping. Oh, when the saints, two, three, four, one, go marching in, two, three, four, one. Oh, when the saints go marching in. And on that in, we remember, we're going to change our chord to an A chord. That's what we discovered last time. So in the next phrase, from where we are to that word in, you'll notice that there is a beat between each word that I'm singing. So each of these words are going to be uh, a half beat, a half measure long uh, uh, in, in time. <clears throat> oh, when the saints go marching in. So now we need to do our hand and, and find out where they are in relationship to each other. Oh, when the saints go march in, in. So it sounds like to me that from saints, we're going to go down. Saints go march in, in. We're going to go um, down, down, up, down. Let's find out if that's true. And we know our note on saints is an A note. I'm just going to go down the D scale from that. The rule of thumb when you're working with melodies of simple songs is there's not going to be big interval leaps very often. There are exceptions to that rule. There's a big leap in Take Me Out to the Ball Game. There's a big leap in Happy Birthday. There's a big leap in Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Um, but they're not that common in simple songs. So wherever you're at, the next note is going to be the same note. It's going to be up the scale one, two, or three notes, or down the scale one, two, or three notes, 
most of the time. So when we recognize that the note is going down, I'm just going to walk down that D scale and find it. So, oh, when the saints go. So it's not one note down. Let's go two more notes down. Oh, when the saints go. There it is. It's F sharp. Uh, and the next one sounded like it goes down again, so let's just keep going down the scale. Oh, when the saints go march. No, it's not E. It must go down one more. Oh, when the saints go march. There we go. It just kind of walks down the D arpeggio. Saints go march. So A. F sharp, D. Saints go march. Now it sounds like it goes up again, so let's walk back up the D scale. Saints go march. E. That's not it. Let's go up one more. Saints go march. E. There it is. Goes back up to the F sharp. Saints go marching. Now the next note in sounds like it goes back down. And it's on that note that re we'll remember we're going to change to an A chord. When we change that A chord on the first beat of that measure, we're going to know that the melody's in that A chord. If we look at the A chord, we've got an E note here, we've got an A note here, we've got a C sharp note here. Those are the three notes of the A chord, A, C sharp, E, the first, third, and fifth scale degrees of the A chord. Now I know I'm on F sharp, but I'm going to go down, so I'm going to guess it's going to go to that E. I'll check that out. Saints go marching in. And there we have it. We're going to change that A chord. So we go, oh, when the saints go marching in. So we're all the way up to our first chord change. Um, from there, we're going to step along the exact same way. We're going to go to the next note of the, of, and we're going to see, okay, is it higher, is it the same, or is it lower than the previous note? We're going to um, compare that with each note of the next phrase, and we know when we get to the next chord change, you know, remember we'll Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, I want. So, from that word to that word in to the word want, in, oh, I want. It's only a couple uh, melody notes before we change chords again. And the rest of the song, it change, changes chords fairly fast. So we're going to get, going to get good clues to where uh, the melody notes are going to land every time we change the chord. Instead of going through the whole song like this, I just wanted to give you an idea of how to find those melody notes. And I want to give you some homework to go and try to find the remainder of the melody notes of this song. Now, one cool thing you can do that will help you out is remember last time I told you to write down um, the words to the song and where the chords change over top of those words. And that, that might help you. Every syllable uh, of the song, there's a new melody note, basically. And then you can figure out where those chords are changing and that'll help you. And write down above the chord what the three notes of the chord are so that when you get to that chord, you'll know kind of um, where to go from there. And so uh, good luck with figuring out the rest of the song. I'll do another video and post it that gives you the answer, so to speak. I'll talk you through the rest of the song. But for right now, give it a try yourself. And uh, next time I come, we'll finish the song and we'll see if you got it right. Okay, so this is Dan Miller for Bluegrass Unlimited Magazine, and we're figuring out the melody to Oh When the Saints Go Marching In. And after we figure out the melody of the whole song, maybe we'll then work on creating some cool solos on the guitar, the banjo, the mandolin, and the dobro 
to this song. Again, this is maybe not going to be a song that you're going to play at your next jam session, but starting with simple songs like this to figure out the method of learning by ear is going to help you to when you go and figure out the melody and the chords to Blue Ridge Cabin Home or Blackberry Blossom or whatever songs you want to play at the jam session. Don't be in a rush because you may frustrate yourself going too fast in songs that are more complicated than these simple songs. So start with the simple songs, get your feet wet, gain some skill, and then you can move on to the other songs. So we'll stick with this song, uh, When the Saints Go Marching In, for the next several videos. Uh, next time around, we'll figure out the rest of the song, and then we'll figure out on guitar, banjo, mandolin, and dobro how to create some solos. I'm not a fiddle player, so I can't do that for you, but I can play the other instruments, and we can figure out some cool ways to create solos to this song that will give you some um, skills that you can use to create your own solo to any song, okay? We'll see you next time.